I'm sure that you have seen this channel on YouTube. It's called Fern, and this is one of the most impressive and unique channels I have seen. They have gained 3.47 subscribers with just 78 videos. Out of those 78 videos, 74 have more than several million views. So what is the secret behind this unique channel? It's their unique niche and their presentation style. They are making videos about anything in a documentary style, and they have these cool 3D animations, which were obviously created by Blender. Normally, if you hire someone, you will have to pay at least $2,000 to create such a video, but I found an easier way to do that. Let me show you a similar video I created by myself. This is a B-52 Strata Fortress. It's flying over North Carolina. The crew thinks it's a routine mission. It isn't. In the next few minutes, this aircraft will break apart mid-air, and two massive nuclear bombs will fall toward the American South. Each one is 250 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. In one of them, came one tiny switch away from detonating. This is not a movie. This is not a conspiracy. This is the real story of the day the United States almost nuked itself, by accident. It's January 23rd, 1961. Just days after John F. Kennedy becomes president, the world is deep in the Cold War. The U.S. is on hair trigger alert. Now, if you want to know how to create such a video, watch this video till the end. I'm going to show you exactly how to make a video like that. And if you follow this method, you can easily start a channel like this today itself. So, let's first talk about this niche. If you check this channel, you will see that they are making videos about anything as documentaries. So basically, we can consider this niche as a documentary niche. The next question is, how to find such video ideas? And that's why we have ChatGPT. I'm going to ask it to generate 20 video ideas similar to these example topics. As you can see here, we have some cool video ideas, and they have categorized those as well. We have dark history and crime, survival and escape, secret experiments and conspiracies, and mysteries and strange events. Now, let's select one of these topics and make a video script as our first example. Before that, we need to make a prompt to adopt their presentation style. So, I watched several videos from this channel and I created this unique prompt that you can use in ChatGPT to generate video scripts in the same style. What you need to do is copy this prompt from the description, enter it into ChatGPT and insert your video topic into this prompt. Now, I'm going to select this topic which is the day the U.S. almost nuked itself, and ask ChatGPT to generate a script. It only took several seconds, and we have completely unique and amazing script for our first video. Now, we need to make voiceover for this. For this process, I'm going to use Dubbed Up AI. This tool has several AI features, including AI voice, AI script, AI avatar, and more. You can also use this to edit your entire video. They have three-day free trial period. And for this video creation process, I'm going to use this AI tool for some tasks. You can get this from the link in the description. I'm going to use this AI voiceover feature in Dubbed Up AI. Once you go to this feature, you can check all the available voices by going into the More Voices option. Now, as you can see here, we can filter the voices based on language, age, and gender. And also, we can select voices based on different niches. And they have this new voice feature, which is called Multi-Emotive Voices. These voices have different emotions. I'm going to check these voices and select one of them. Once you select your voice, go to the video script and copy the first part of the script and paste it here. You can improve the voice using these settings. If you want to add a pause after a sentence, you can do that by using these options. So, after you edit those settings, click this button to generate the voiceovers. This is a B-52 Strata Fortress. It's flying over North Carolina. The crew thinks it's a routine mission. It isn't. In the next few minutes, this aircraft will break apart mid-air and two massive nuclear bombs will fall toward the American South. Each one is 250 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. In one of them, came one tiny switch away from detonating. That sounds perfect. You can download it by clicking this export button, and just like this, generate voiceovers for the whole video script. Now let me show you how to create these unique 3D style graphics. First, we need to generate these images separately according to our video script, then we need to add camera effects and turn them into stunning videos. When it comes to making images like this, it all depends on the prompt that you are going to use. So this is the prompt I made specifically to create this type of 3D game-like character. Now you can use this prompt on ChatGPT or Leonardo AI or any other image generator. It works for every tool. I'm going to try ChatGPT and Leonardo AI. According to our video script, we need to first make an image of a B-52 Stratofortress. 
This is the plane that the army uses. I used this prompt to generate an image with ChatGPT, and this was the result I got. Then I made an image of some soldiers who are operating this plan from the inside. And these are the images I created using Leonardo AI. They all look the same. So just like this, I want you to make images to match your video script. These are some of the images I generated. Now I'm going to convert these into videos and add some camera movement. For that, I'm going to use Leonardo AI. Once you go to Leonardo AI, you need to go to the AI video option. Now, from this side menu, make sure to select this Motion 2.0 preset. With this preset, you can control the motion of the video. As you can see here, we have several options. These are some cool camera movements that we can use in our videos. So based on your needs, you can select one of these motions. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can directly add the prompt that we use to generate images to this and generate a completely new video. After adding the prompt, you need to select the quality of the video, size, and number of outputs you need. With this way, you will get a video like this. It doesn't have that low poly effect, but it has the gaming look. And I think you can use this as well. But if you want to use the images that we generated, you need to click this button and add the image you want here. That's the only difference. Then, you can use the same prompt that you used to generate that image. These are the results I got. This is what I got after converting the image to video, and this is what I got after using the prompt directly to make the video. I think both of these styles are good, so it's up to you. Just like this, you can convert all the images to video with this method. Now, we need to add an AI avatar as well. When it comes to creating this AI avatar, you can use the same prompt, and you just need to explain the character here. Like, these are the characters I made. Now, some of these characters have that 3D look, and this one is realistic. You can test both of these styles and select the better version. Let's try both. Now, I'm gonna go back to DubDub AI and convert this into a talking avatar video. First, you need to go to this AI avatar feature. And as you can see here, we have a lot of AI avatar options. Since we already created some characters, let's use them. Click this option and upload the avatar image you created. Then, I'm gonna paste the part of the script that this character is gonna narrate. Then you need to select the same AI voice that we used previously to generate voiceovers. After that, Click the Generate option, and let's see the results. This is not a movie. This is not a conspiracy. This is the real story of the day the United States almost nuked itself by accident. This is not a movie. This is not a conspiracy. This is the real story of the day the United States almost nuked itself by accident. Both of these are actually good. Again, it's up to you guys to select whichever style you like. After that, we need to download some actual images of this incident. You can use Google for that, download all the suitable images related to this incident, and then we can start the editing process. For the editing process, I'm going to use the video editing feature in DubDub AI. Select this video editing feature and click the new video option. This is going to be the editing dashboard. Now you need to click the upload button and upload all the material you gathered. First, you need to add the voiceover file to the timeline by clicking the plus icon. Now you need to add the suitable video clips to match the voiceovers. This process may take several minutes to complete. Once you add all the clips and images, you can use this transition feature to add cool transitions like this to these clips. Just drag and drop these transitions between these clips. Now, let me show you how I created this effect with images. It's really simple. First, you need to zoom into the timeline using this bar. Then, you need to add several images into a time frame of one second. So add images like this and cut it using this icon. Do the process with all the image. Basically, what you are doing is adding these images between a one second time frame. It's not complicated as it seems. A scene like this would be good for the intro of your video. Then, you can go to this audio option and add suitable sound effects and background music to this video. For the sound effect, you can use this AI generated sound effect option. You just need to type what sort of sound effect you want and this tool will generate it. If you want to add subtitles, Click the subtitle option, and then you can transcribe this video to generate auto captions. Once the captions are generated, you can use this to customize those subtitles. I'm not going to add the subtitles to this video. If you want, you can do that. It's up to you. Once everything is finished, you can click the export button and download the video. And that's all. I hope this video was helpful for your content creation journey. So I wish you the best of luck, and I will see you guys in the next video.